Vernier scales can be used on microscopes, stereotaxic frames, and micromanipulators. Let's take a look at how to read a Vernier scale. The Vernier scale is marked with divisions that are slightly smaller than the divisions of the main scale. Here's the main scale, and this is the Vernier scale. To read the Vernier scale, you first read the main scale. Look for the last whole increment visible before the zero mark. Then read the secondary scale measurement. Choose the division that lines up best with a mark on the main scale, and then add the two measurements together. The zero on the Vernier scale lines up with the four on the main scale. The 10 on the Vernier scale also lines up with the mark on the main scale, but we'll ignore that second line. This measurement is exactly 4.0 millimeters. Here's a new reading. The zero mark on the Vernier scale is between four and five. So we know the measurement is four millimeters plus the amount shown on the Vernier scale. To read the Vernier scale, look for a mark on the Vernier scale that lines up best with the mark on the main scale. In this case, the three mark lines up best and our measurement is 4.3 millimeters. On some instruments, the Vernier scale looks like the circular one on my M3301 micromanipulator here. This is the linear scale and this is the rotational scale. The linear scale is read first. Whole numbers are shown on the top of the linear scale and half numbers are shown on the bottom. In this case, we see the 5.0 millimeters. Then we read the rotational scale, which has 50 increments. For this instrument, two complete revolutions of the rotational scale equals 1.0 millimeter mark on the linear scale. This means that each mark on the rotational dial is equivalent to 1 one hundredth of a millimeter. Here, the zero mark on the rotational scale lines up exactly with the center line on the linear scale. We have a measurement of exactly 5.00 millimeters. Here's 5.50 millimeters. On the linear scale, the 5 is visible, but you can also see the half mark, 0.5, on the bottom side of the linear scale. Since the rotational scale is exactly zero, the final measurement is 5.50 millimeters. This time, 6.5 is visible on the linear scale. On the rotational scale, you can read 32, which is equivalent to 32 hundredths of a millimeter. Add these two values together to get your measurement. 6.5 plus 0.32 equals 6.82 millimeters. Reading a Vernier scale measurement is as easy as 1, 2, 3. 1. Take a main scale reading. 2. Take the secondary scale reading. 3. Add them together.